Good afternoon, everyone. Um, this, I'm Chris Gills here from GIS Planning. I'm the Customer Service Manager. I've got with me uh, Pablo Monzon, our C CEO, and Jeff Sunnison, our Director of Client Relations. We want to take just a little bit of time out of your day here to go over our new intelligence components. They are a uh, super handy and slick little feature we've developed that takes the data within your Zoom Prospector that's normally associated with demographics, labor force, consumer spending, business, and some of your dynamic mapping layers, and makes that available to put on other places on your website. So Pablo, it's all you. Thank you, everybody. First, thank you for being here today. Uh, we want to show the new intelligence component that we have been developing. Some of them are live in some of our clients' websites already. And just to give you an idea, what we are doing is we have a, you have a lot of information right now in Prospector. What is going on is sometimes site selectors and people trying to find communities, they will research for your community on your website first to narrow their communities, and then they might look for sites and buildings. So sometimes they don't go directly to sites and buildings. They, can, they want to analyze if your community is the perfect match for them and kind of make a short list. And then when they make the job lead, they might contact you or they might go to the site and building website. All of this information, you can currently, you have it already in your Zoom Prospector Enterprise. So what we are doing is we are allowing to, to have components anywhere you want them in your website. So the idea is to drive more traffic to your website, to have people st spend more time in your website, and to kind of give you the tool that you need to be created, created create and create like the you know the best website that you can create so we have three that we're going to show today one is for demographics one is for business analysis and one is for maps so let me show you a couple of examples we'll start with the demographic one so this is a good example so right now we are in one of our clients website santa rosa county economic development they they have the zoom prospector tool as many of you do have but then they also, you know, it's very common that in your website you will have a link or something for demographics or workforce or consumer expenditures. So this is a good example. So basically when they go to the demographic page, they can see, okay, I want to see the population of Santa Rosa. I want to see the day distribution. I want to see the income distribution. And like, oh, that's interesting. There's a lot of people making more than 100,000. But where are they located? Then it will open up a little map that will show you concentrations in Santa Rosa County, and then you can zoom in, and it will go from zip code to, to block group as you zoom in. Then if you want education, you can click on education, and then same thing, you can see like, oh, I want to see where people with graduate degrees are located, and then you can you have an interactive map that shows you where, are, where, where people with graduate degree are located. So this is a demographic component you can put anywhere in your website. It also comes with consumer expenditures. So if you want to see how much people spend on education or entertainment or clothing, then you can see all of the consumer expenditures. If you, want, if you are interested in woman clothing, and then you want to see where people are spending money in woman clothing, then you have the map too. You can also do it by labor force. Let's do occupation. So you have all the occupation in Santa Rosa County. And they said that you need a lot of engineers. Then you can click on the map. You have the number here, but then you can also click on the map and see, okay, where are those engineers located? So basically, you know, it gives you consumer expenditure, to labor force, and demographic data. It's not only for the county. You can also do it for your communities inside your territory. So, for example, if they want Milton. then you can select the, any, any of your communities inside and then do the same thing. You can also do it by address. So if they want, you can type an address, 6491. And then we can do like, let's do 10 miles. And then you have this. Now we are looking at the demographic report, not for the county, but for 10 miles around that location. And then same thing. You can do the graphics, and then you can see the maps, and then you can see the radios. This is a good example for the county. Let me show you an, a good example for the state implementation. So this is the state of Pennsylvania. 
the Pennsylvania Department of Community and Economic Development, another one of our clients, and they put it right in the homepage because this is, I mean, they, they know a lot of people are interested in getting information about the different communities in the state. So basically, you can go here, and then, I mean, the default is the state is the state so you can do the same thing and see all the information for the state but same thing you can select any of the cities any of the counties or any of the regions and then you do the same thing and then look at consumer expenditures or labor force for any of your counties and same thing comes with the mapping and then you can see what executives are etc. for any city, any county, or in the, in the case of the state, they can also do it for any of the regions too. Okay, so so that's the first intelligence component. And this one, you can put it anywhere in your website and you can default any of these reports. And you can put it in more than one location. So sometimes people will put, will open up with the demographic data. Sometimes people want to put another page with consumer expenditures, and sometimes people might want to have another page with occupations. So you can default any reports, and you can put it in many places, in, in more than one place if you want to. So that's the first one. Uh, one comment, so you, everybody know it takes like a day to implement, so it's very, it's very easy. We do have a, a, a question, and is uh, can we have it for multiple counties? And yes, yes. So it's, it's, it, I'm showing you a state implementation, I, and I show you a Santa uh, Santa Rosa, which is really a county. But yeah, it can be by region, and it could be a, a, like the region could cover you know multiple counties or multiple cities. So it's city, region, or state, depending on what the area you cover. So yes, you can get it for multiple counties. Okay, next one. So now we're going to show the mapping component. So the mapping component allows you to, you have a lot of maps and a lot of data, a lot of data in your uh, Zoom Prospect or Enterprise application. Some of those maps are provided by us, some of them are provided by you. But then basically when you come here, this is a good example, this is another of our clients, South Central Kentucky. They have a uh, a page for maps and what they used to have and this I mean you, I, I want to show you it, it was something like this that basically links to PDFs so what we have done with them is now in addition I mean instead of the PDF they have the the oil intelligence component that can create maps so same thing they can be, you can come here and say you know I want to see point of interest, I want to see like the counties, now I see the counties, I want to see transportation, rail, I want to see airports, I mean it's getting too busy, let's, let's see, I want to see trade schools, and again if, if I decide, oh you know it's getting too busy, I don't want to see the counties anymore, so it's very easy to use, you can turn things on and off very easily. But you can also load the demographic data, consumer expenditures, and labor force. So it's like you want also income, and you want income, people making more than 100,000, then, then you have it here. And then it, you can, I mean, again, you can zoom in and look it by block group or by zip code. And then you can look it for total or by percentage. And now we are looking over 100,000, but it allows you to go ahead and now let's look 75 to, to 160 to 75, etc. So basically you can put the maps wherever you want in your website. And this they have a mapping page, but they also, let me show you a couple of more examples. So they have also a page for education. And this is what they used to have. So it was, a, you know, they were talking about the education facilities and talent. So what we did is they added the mapping component in that page. So now in, the, in your education page, it, it opens, but you can design it to open with any of the layers or any of the maps that you have available. So in this case, in the education, it opens up with the education layer. So now you don't even have to click. I mean, it's already the data is loaded there. So you can just see, oh, let's look at the education facilities in Bowling Green. So then basically you can see them. And if you want, you can also add, you know, the other data that you have on top of it. So you can st you still have access to the other layers, but you can start with any layer by default. 
if you go to like for example the healthcare page that used to have like a you know a, a page talking about hospitals now it opens up with the map with all the hospitals on it so you can see how you can be very creative and then basically put your maps anywhere you want it let me show you this is another of our clients and in this case this is like an example of a state implementation so you have um, you have the state and if you want to add more layers then you can say okay show me railroads show me I mean in this case like that you I can have like the EMC headquarters show me uh, airports and then it gets too busy then I can just turn the layers off and on and then it has access also to the other data so if I want oh show me also demographic uh, I want to see uh, let's see where seniors live 65 and older you like oh I see a concentration here but let's look it by percentage because you know it's obviously Atlanta has more then the map change is very interesting okay well we'll have a percent a big percentage of seniors in this area and this area etc so and again, you can do this. You can do the layer demographics, consumer expenditures, so labor force. You need occupations. I need engineers. Where are they? You can see where they are. Again, there's a lot of them are in Atlanta, but look at by percentage. Maybe we have something else. You know what I mean? And then you can start seeing like, okay, well, there's a concentration of engineers in other areas. You so basically, and then you can do it by county. But I mean, as you zoom in again, this is the state, so you can see it by zip code, and you can see it then by by block group. So this is a this is these are two examples of the second intelligence component that basically allow you to put maps, your maps and all maps anywhere you want it, anywhere in your website. It doesn't have to be one place, it could be it could be multiple place. And then there's one more thing that is actually interesting here. Let me go back to Santa Rosa. Also yeah, so one any of these. So if I create a map that I like and then once I have it, I can share the report. I can share it in Facebook. I can share it in LinkedIn. I can share it in Twitter. I can email it to someone. And if I email it to someone, they will get the exact same map or in Facebook too. They, they will get exactly the same map and it will take them to your web page with that map on it. So they don't even have to click to recreate the map basically. So you can create a map for a customer or for a prospect and then basically send them the link or, or you share it in your social media and then it gives you like a lot of ability to share reports and share uh, data in social media. Okay? Um, the third one, so the third one is actually one that uh, we just actually finished recently and just so you know the idea is we are creating these components as, and this year we are launching this tree the plan is to do a few more early next year. So, so this is just the beginning of, of a trend that you will be seeing with all of our clients. So the business, you know how everybody has in the website, oh, I have these industries and, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of people, you, many websites have pages talking about industry, like, oh, do we have biotech or we have retail or whatever. So now what we're doing is the same thing. We're, we want to, you to have access to that data. So if somebody wants to map any of the industries like Riverside, oh, you know, I want to see arts, sports and education, then you can just click basically that industry and then you can see the map where all those industries are and then if you want another one let's say like I want agriculture too then now I create a cluster on the fly with the two of them so I have agriculture and um, arts but I can go even let's do another one so let's do construction so you can basically map any industry you want and then let's do one more, which is healthcare, but healthcare, I don't want all of them. So you can even go deeper and say, you know, in healthcare, I only want child, care, child daycare services. So you can even create subcategories and basically create your, create your own clusters. You can put that anywhere your website. You can select the, the size you want it. If you want it bigger, you want it smaller, you want it, a, you, can, you can do all of that. And then this is an interactive map, so I can take, I, I used to, I don't want this anymore, so I can just take it out. I can click on it, 
so I can get the business information of any of those business. I can just click. I'm like, oh, I want to see which one is this one. So you can you have the business information, the business detail, and finally, but not least, it also allows you to do business search. So if I want to search any industry, so now let's search maybe uh, let's do restaurants, full services restaurants. You can do it by name, you can do it by keyword, we can do it by NICS code, you can do it by industry, you can even say I want a restaurant with more than 20 employees. So it also allows you to do like the business, a business search. So if you want more specific information, you can say, okay, show me all the industries. Let's do another example. You know, show me everything with more than 100 employees. Let's do that one. <laughs> that would be interesting. I haven't done that. So it shows you all the business in the different categories with more than 100 employees. And again, you can you can share this map in social media, uh, or you can use start with this map by default. So you don't have to start. I mean, if you want to start with a specific industry map, you can do that. So this just gives you an idea. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities with this one. And if you are a region or if you are a state, in this case, I'm showing you a, a city, but if you are a, a state or a county or a region, then you can do it for the whole region, but you cannot do it for each of the counties or each of the cities. So, so that's where the power is. So like this is another example in Miami. So if I want to select, this is, they are more like a region. So if I want to select North Miami, now I'm just going to do it the same thing I did, but only for North Miami, and I'm, I just want the arts and sport and entertainment industries in North Miami, and I want let's do banking. So, so basically you can you can customize it, and, uh, and basically you have the data for any of your cities, counties, or for the region, or for the state if you're a state. That's basically it. So those are the three. All of those are available to a full. Uh, for the full implementations of Zoom Prospect or Enterprise. So now we probably have some questions. Yeah, there's yeah. some questions. So we'll, we'll take some questions here for me. So you guys have typed them in, and Jeff has got those in there. Um, there was a question earlier about um, multiple counties. That will do multiple counties if you're multiple region. Um, a question I have, Pablo, does it do, say you're a state, can you select multiple cities? or counties within that or is that something we need to work on in the future well uh, no if you if you are a state you can i mean you do, you do have to predefine them first so like if you're a state you can decide okay I'm, i have five regions or i have 10 regions and then you can do the data for each of the regions too if you are that region for example and you have two or three sub regions you can predefine those sub regions and then you have the data for the sub region too Okay. Another question here is where in the world do we get this data? Um, we don't pull it out of our hat. It's the same data we use uh, in your Zoom Prospector. So um, for the, the demographics and the labor force and the consumer spending data, that comes from our data provider, AGS. They are largely using um, Bureau of Labor Statistics or American Community Survey five-year estimates. And again, all this data is um, extrapolated down to the block group level. So when we're looking at things here, we're actually adding tables up to the um, block group level to get this information. And the, the business data too. The business yeah, and the business data is a little different. That comes from InfoGroup USA. That's updated quarterly, and that is obviously since it's a specific business based on that location. Um, the, again, the business data updated quarterly. The AGS data is updated. Um, twice a year so we get two updates each year and then let's see um, again a question here about updating so twice a year for the the demographic information quarterly for the business uh, information the industry and occupation how that's actually uh, acquired uh, by info group is they use a variety of sources they're really just out there scraping it up and then it, what's important for them is they probably a they apply a proprietary formula based on past performance to get that information um, there. Um, a question here for you, Pablo. Can you drill down to the name of the businesses? Yeah, you, I mean, you can click on the name of the businesses, and then you will see which business it, it is, yeah. Data, the info source used in the data, again, so this is updated quarterly for the business data and then uh, biannually for the demographic information. Yeah, and it should always have the source, it, it, it will have the source, I mean, I didn't show it, but it, it, it will always list the source data at the bottom. Okay. 
And a couple other things here uh, as we wrap up, um, since we're almost up of your time. Now, the important thing with these, um, oops, excuse me here, with our um, these widgets is that they're designed to go on your website and also replace some of the information you already have. Because a lot of you will spend time, you know, updating information or going out and collecting that information from, say, some of the same sources that our data providers get it from. The idea here is to, so that someone can come in and find out like, oh, I want to find out and build this information, but get lost and do more with it. So say I could come into demographics, you know, some of this, this table takes up a lot of space in, in terms of the real estate on the web page, but also it takes time for you guys to update. And the idea here is maybe you have a shorter summary here of just the highlights, like what's really important to know. And then you can jump in and start looking at um, the, the widget here and what what you know we want people to do is come in and like oh so what's the population that that's good but then they can start coming in and looking at some real data here and like okay so let's look at the distribution here and by the time they're starting into this they can jump from one to the other and they're not constrained by anything but their own motivation yeah. here the intelligence component because in, in, in a way they update themselves because you don't have to worry about them. Basically like, oh, you put them in the website, they are smart every year, you would have new data and then you don't have to worry about it. Um, that's, so that's the, that's the reason of the name. Um, the second thing is, would you, I will say it again, is you want people to stay in your website. So this is like a sticky point where they, like people come here, they spend time on your website, they do analysis in your website, they are not living to an external report somewhere else. They are staying in your website doing analysis, which is what you want. You want them to spend as much time in your website. And this is brand new, but you will see, I mean, uh, <laughs> I think as we ha you have more of this, you will see that the time of, uh, of people spending your website will definitely increase. Next question, how do we implement this in your website? So again, if you are a full custom, a full, if you have a full implementation of Zoom Prospect or Enterprise, this is included so you don't have to pay anything extra is part of the service as you know we every year we we come up with like some innovations and this is what we come up this year so uh, the good news is if you are full a, a full uh, if you have the full version you can have this to, to, to today or tomorrow so that's the good news if you are a local edition then contact us and and then we will will send you the pricing it takes really like we'll have to send it to you and it's a script that you put up in your website. It doesn't take any time of your web designer other than, you know, a couple of minutes putting it in. Of course, you have to decide what you want it. But once you decide what you want it, you send that script to your webmaster or your web designer. It's just one line of code that you put it and then this will appear. So that's as easy as it sounds. So if somebody wants to, I mean, I'm, I'm showing, I'm, I'm having talking with a few customers here and there and, you know, they are all doing it. If you want it, this as soon as possible, use contact us and then you can have it like immediately a uh, support at eisplanning.com will be the email to and then that will be go we it will go to me jeff and chris so we'll take care of you and and just tell us which one i mean like we have three so the demographics the mapping and the, the business the business if you want the three of them of course that's that's perfect and also we can talk with you um you know for all of you full editions, you're going to get this right away, you know, whenever you want to have it implemented. We can talk about where to have this on their website. And I think the important part here is with, with all this data, and let me uh, jump back here real quick. Um, these could go on multiple places on your website. So if you have something relevant to it, you know, like this is a demographics page, duh, that's it's kind of obvious there. But even if you have a quality of life page, you could have something there that we can have it preset to open one of these variables. So we're happy to talk to you about ways you can implement it and ways, um, you know, we just like, you know, why don't you move this to a sub page instead of being on this page or, you know, just remove this information so you don't have to update it. We can look at things and see where they're going there. But it's really easy um, to, to, uh, to get on your website there. Yeah. And if, if, again, you, in, if you put in your website, you can customize the size, the width, the height. There's a few things you can customize, so it will, it will, so you can, so you, yeah, so you can match your website. Um, the design is also kind of this gray color, so that basically it will go, it will kind of go with almost any website. So, so, right, yeah. So it is. I mean, the the concept, the designer was designing it this way so that basically could match and fit any of any different type of 
Yeah, yeah you won't you won't have to break uh, templates uh, to get these to work. They yeah. do they do fit into your existing templates. Okay. So with that, um, again, contact us uh, at support at GIS planning, and you know, for any questions about these, even if you know you don't, you know, you've got a local edition, you're wondering like, well, that's great, but you know, I only want one thing or something like that. Let's you know talk, see what your needs are, and how we can meet those. Uh, for for you guys that are uh, full editions, um, definitely we're going to be reaching out to you uh, soon as well. And if you don't even know what you have, um, we can help you figure that out as well. So again, support at GIS Planning is uh, will get you all the information you need to know there.